I want to say something to y'all out here. This is Mo Love. And this is my bass guitar. And I'm just going to riff a little bit. And what I want to uh, talk about is this here. Get your wet teddy bear. Get your wet teddy bear. <laughs> Not all to talk about the wet teddy bear. Get your wet teddy bear right over here. Your wet teddy bear. Get 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 your wet teddy bear. The enhanced rear under right guard will address a lot of these issues. In a letter, families of victims are... Let me go back a little bit. ...but not on the side. ...presents more than 160,000 truck drivers. He says his group supports proposals to require tougher under right guards on the backs of new trailers, but not on the sides or front. I think the enhanced... ...and truck drive... You can't just tell... ...in the past has failed to move forward in part because of opposition from trucking groups. How can you oppose equipment to stop underrides and save lives? You can't just tell the trucking industry, hey, here's a $40 billion mandate. We just want you to absorb it. It doesn't work that way. Mike Matusik rep an instance of existing frame shows it doing a better job stopping the car than the old Spotlight on America. It shows what often happens. We're impact guards failing in a crash. For a number of years, we have uh, pushed for stronger regulation for rear underwrite guards. Manufacturers have made strides in improving those guards since this testing in 2011. Take a look here. The newer guard in the bottom frame shows it doing a better job stopping the car than the older one above allowing things like the airbags and crumple zone technology to deploy. But there are still millions of existing trailers with the weaker guard. There's now legislation in Congress. It would require new trucks to have the stronger rear guards and also front and side guards. Similar legislation in the past has failed to move forward in part because of opposition from trucking groups. How can you oppose equipment to stop under rides and save lives. You can't just tell the trucking industry, hey, here's a $40 billion mandate. We just want you to absorb it. It doesn't work that way. Mike Matusik represents more than 160,000 truck drivers. He says his group supports proposals to require tougher under right guards on the backs of new trailers, but not on the sides or front. I think the enhanced rear under right guard will address a lot of these issues. In a letter, families of victims are making an emotional appeal for action to President Biden, whose own wife and daughter died in a crash with a big rig in the early 1970s. We're very hopeful that this could be a good year for under right protection. No matter how long it takes, families of victims say they're committed to making stronger impact guards the norm on our nation's highways. I'm John Crisos for Spotlight on America. Stay with us. Todd has a last look at your forecast when we come back. Everybody wants us. Barry just doesn't do that. So for another dry day Monday, then we start to get. You know, I think Barry Manilow put it best when he said, I think we made it. <laughs> to, to the weekend. <laughs> anyway, into drier weather, right? Mid 80s. <laughs> Overnight lows are going to be in the 60s, 87 degrees for another dry day Monday. Then we start to get back into the rain chances. Small at first, but then they start to increase by the middle to end of next week. Sorry, I had to go there, Beth. You know, but. Barry just doesn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, you're just not going to find Barry Manilow references on the other channels. No, no, I'll true. tell you no. that. Only time. All right, thanks a lot, Todd. That does it for Channel 7 News at 10. Thanks for being with us. All your overnight news, weather, and sports is on KATV.com. And the best way to start your weekend is with Saturday Daybreak. They're on the air tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Have a great weekend. Good night.
Keep the next winning numbers are 18, 6, 17, 9, 48, and gold mega models 8. Gold mega models 6, numbers Tuesday's jackpot could be $560 million. Good luck in play on America. Maysell is back at Sissy's Log Cabin. You can save up to 65% on nearly everything in the store, from loose diamonds to exclusive designer pieces, all while enjoying our well. Jordan service. Well, y'all, <clears throat> hold on, let me get back to what I was watching. Let me get back to what I was watching. Never heard of that much money. You get 5%. <laughs> sure beats running the store. Count out 1500 for yourself, I'll take the rest. Well, now, I did that because people don't quite understand. Now, if the truck ran up into you, yeah, tear they fucking ass up. Tear them up off the flank, Frank, because, you know, you got to lead by example. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell everyone in the world right now, give truckers the respect they deserve. They're carrying a lot of weight. And freight and things like this right here. You with your little four-wheeler ass car could have been on the other side of the fucking earth. But you want to be right there getting hung under the damn wheel of a goddamn uh, uh, tractor trailer. Why? Give them respect. That shit is real. They need room, okay? Get your ass off from under them and take your ass on down, down the highway. And then don't get over in front of them. And then, oh, I'm going to take my sweet cherry of time down the damn street. Then all of a sudden, he can see way down the road because you can't see over the next truck or something. You know, he can see down there. And then here you are. About to slam on brakes because you finna run up the ass of something else. Now he got to try to make a decision to go over, either hit a left or bust a right. Trying to avoid some shit. Get your ass out from around. Get out from around him. You see, don't, don't. Now here's another thing I see people like to do. It could be at night. It could be in the day. You want to rush to this, the road is this wide, and then you see it's road construction coming up, and it's going to eventually go into one lane. You want to wrestle your ass right there and ride on his damn bumper, or you want to be a problem where he damn near got like, and you looking at him like, like, well, slow down so I can go. And then he got to let you go over there to try to avoid accident because if he sees it, he got to stop and he got to report the shit. It's simple as that. You see it? Because he's on the road, it's the DLT, all that. That's real. That's where they work. When you see them, that's their lane. To give them the respect and save your life and many other lives because when you do something, all the rest of that shit gonna pile up on it. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Uh, give them respect, the same respect. What you want that train to do? He already blowed his whistle about three quarters down the, down the uh, track, coming that way. Some tracks don't have those arms to come down and stop you from coming. Then some of y'all get slick. I'm just going to go around. And then you get stuck on the damn track. Your little wheels start spinning and shit. Now what are you supposed to do? He been flying 25, 30 fucking miles an hour. Only for I don't know how many free, hour, free miles with nothing in the way. On this train track. And he got, I don't know, at least. Three miles, two miles of motherfucking uh, 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 boxcars with everything on that motherfucker. And he's supposed to stop right now. Think. Think. 
make the road safer by get your ass off them around them and leave them alone. It, them truckers, leave them alone, motherfucker. Leave them alone. When you see them, you know, blow, you know, you can pull the blow the horn. They might respect you and blow the horn, right? And go on, you take your ass on down the road. Get on out from around them. Go on some damn where. Don't sit under them and grinning and carrying on. And the little kid, and the little kid. Okay, that was fine. Yeah, blow the horn and get your ass on down there out of the way. So, because they need to. I don't care how many lanes it is. It could be two or three lanes. He may need them three lanes. Take your ass the fuck off them around them trucks. Give them respect. I'm telling you that right now. You know. I'm just going to let let you know. People just, y'all full of shit now. Ain't no reason why you should... Put on your brakes and sliding up under this goddamn trail, up under that trailer. You ain't driving up under the tractor. You rolling up under the fucking trailer. And anything up, up, anything right here above, it's gonna shove that shit to the back. It's taking it off once you go up under there. Steering wheel, all that shit going right with, right with you, and then it's just gonna bank your ass up to where you. Can, all the kinetic energy and shit, that's where it's going to end up, laying right on you. If you're going fast enough, that's coming off somewhere. Top of your body laying in the front seat. I mean, the bottom of your body is laying in the, in the front seat, maybe the seat belt. The top of your shit gone, and it's back there in the trunk some fucking where. Give them respect that that's there. Tractor, trailer, diesels, and trucks, you know what the fuck they are. Take your happy ass on down the goddamn highway and, and give them plenty of room. On both sides, in, in front and in the rear of them. That's a real job. That's a real career. That's a real situation. That motherfucker got plenty of shit on there. You know, that's not the only thing. You got to make sure he don't end up going under a bridge and decapitating himself. Right? Well, here, you going wrong there, and all of a sudden you just dart in front of him to get to go run and get on this damn uh, off-ramp. Only thing he can do is try to keep this truck steady and slow down. And not jackknife and make the situation no worse. After you done got in there, you done, you done turn in there and not an ass in. Bam. What you want him to do now? Or her that's driving. The tractor trailer. Get them respect. They didn't do nothing to you. Same as motorcycles. You see them handlebars. Respect them all the same. Bicycle. Motorcycle. Tractor trailer, tractor diesel truck, tractor trailer. Train tracks, train and all the cargo and the box cars and shit all on there. That's what you need to do. You, you understand that? You come up to there and if that thing start ting, 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 just before you get there and the arms start going, I'm not going to suggest mash the gas and go just slow your ass down. Stop. And wait that duration until it go. Because damn it, you could have been anywhere. You could have been anywhere. But right there. So. Just going to tell you. It, it, you know. You, you be you be safe. Make your environment safe. Get out from, out from around people. Cause you be clustering and everybody. You don't even know them people. You, nobody don't know. And then all of a sudden it's road rage. Oh, motherfucker, you cut me off. Oh, some bitches in there. Oh, all of a sudden y'all want to bam, bam, bam. Have a wow wow west. You want everybody to know y'all have y'all y'all flipping out. Take that bullshit and flush it in the toilet already. Remember what I told you about them tractor trailers or <laughs> you see it coming, <clears throat> you in a fucking hurry. <clears throat> you go and and run up under the damn trailer. Somebody would ask for something and she 
He's way up there. He see, he's looking out on his motherfucking mirrors. He's looking out on his fucking mirror, the hood mirror, door mirror, you know, on both sides. And, and then you hear somebody going to come and T-bone him, the trailer. He's supposed to, ah, right, he seen me coming way down the street. Oh, really? Yeah, I seen your ass. Yeah, you was something. Something was there. I don't know. But I had the right to keep it moving. You know I don't right to just jump your ass out here and just do that. Be safe, America. I'm telling you right now. These highways. Just hurt them. These problems, man. I always wanted to say that. Now I'm just telling you. Give the truck drivers their, their, their space and their room. Get the fuck out from around them. They really working a job. That's that's a real job. All right, I'm going to get off it because I didn't even want to go that long. I went 16 down to 20 minutes. But anyway, I guess I just had to relate that message because it just irks me. Y'all just, the people just don't give a damn about nothing but yourself. And if you gave a damn about yourself, then get the fuck out from around them damn diesels. Give them space and room. All right, now I'm out. I'll be back. You know my motto. I'll be back.